Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go over everything that was added to AQ Worlds this week. Not a lot, so it should be a quick video. Hit like if you like these videos, it helps them out. And uh, yeah, let's get into the first drops. So, the inflatable dragon pool and the beach 83 ball are available from the Bacon Cat Zard in the Event Hub map. So, Event Hub changes every month now, uh, which is pretty cool. So, it's been doing that for a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, Event Hub, come here, it's summer themed now. And you can grab that and the ball my character has. They are seasonal rarity both, uh, no rares here, but yeah, cool little ball. You can grab that, throw in your bank, or have it equipped with a summer set. There are summer items coming very soon to the game, uh, some new ones, and all the seasonal summer stuff has returned with the update this week, so check out any of that. There's a ton of seasonal summer stuff if you're returning to the game. Moving on to the Sunset Dunes map, the new release for this week, the button at the top of the game menu. So this place has a quest, a singular quest. Uh, it's just a boss farm. You get the feather for defeating the boss. Boss has like a double HP stage, which is rare. I don't know if any other monsters in the game have that. So kind of cool, but kind of difficult as well for the boss there. Sort of, uh, you can defeat it, but probably need a party of uh, at least a couple decent people in there uh, doing things. Uh, so for some reason, the gear isn't showing up in game for me. It didn't show up yesterday. It shows up when I swap gender for some reason. Is it male only? It isn't male only. There are female versions of this. I can't show them for some reason on my game. Uh, that's fun. I gotta clear my cache or something. I haven't had to do that in forever. Usually closing up in the game will do that. But yeah, so get a bunch of golden outfits in the shop here uh, along with some blades. The blades have 60% elemental damage. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a boost, I, I guess. So don't see are there elementals to be i i see the elemental damage boost quite often why why do they put that there let me know in the comments because i actually don't know yeah, the only time i ever farm elemental is like slash join elemental for that one quest i think it's a nation quest or something or maybe a, a legion quest but it's either nation or legion but you gotta farm elementals and they don't have any hp so you wouldn't need a damage boost i don't know where you need the damage boost so anyway though anyway uh interesting weapons there in the shop and uh, the golden armor actually looks pretty nice uh for i can't see either of them now it's so buggy i okay that's i've never seen this in game where they won't show me the item in the shop but it looks all right uh so yeah uh there is also a boss here boss looks really cool really well designed art wise on the boss uh he's got the double hp bar thing uh there so a little deceptive looking at that hp also does a lot of damage and stuff, so you will get wiped if you're just going in here nonchalantly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, pretty cool. The monster itself has four drops on it. I haven't farmed these because, I, yeah, but you get the spear. You probably need that for the merge. You got the fire blades. These look pretty nice, although they're member only there. Awesome rarity. Uh, you know, shout out to the wiki. <laughs> Makes my job easier because I can't solo this thing, and I'm not about to go... Try to find a party to defeat it. Uh, so then you get the glowing ember as well there, which looks like a merge item. So yeah, a couple different item drops off the actual guy uh, there in the new event. And that is all the content added for this week, period. With, of course, one exception for the uh, paid upgrade pack that was added to the game. I do think the female version of this outfit actually looks better than the male one here that you're seeing. Well, that's when they showed in or showing in battle on right now. It's a little Sneevil fighting there as well. So. Yeah, there is a new upgrade pack you can get. It costs $10 minimum. If you buy anything, you get a, a singular point. Doesn't matter if you spend $100 or $10, you get a singular point. You spend on the upgrade pack, you know the drill. Uh, anyway, so that is a new one this week as well if you want to pick that up for the month. Here's kind of a better look at it from the design notes. I'm not about to buy it in game, to be honest. It doesn't really uh, look that appealing to me, if I'm being completely honest. But anyway, Elven Assassin gear. See, the female, the female version has a cool helmet, uh, like a drow like hood sort of thing so that's cool could be a reason to pick it up but uh yeah you get a whole list of things with it including a battle pet which is cool uh it's pretty neat uh rare to get a non-member version of that so and I'm, I'm assuming that this one would be non-member so that is a very rare non-member battle pet so that is something of note there you don't see those every day although they are actually coming becoming more common it's they've added a few recently so maybe something non-members will have access to more often now uh so there's a 50 percent bonus ac going on right now if you want to upgrade for and get acs 
I'd hold off and wait till you actually see items and give me extra more buy. Don't just pre-buy AC. Unless you know you're going to spend them sometime in the future, of course. Uh, but anyway. Anyway, uh, we have a look at some upcoming releases here. I usually put this in a news video, but it's going to be about a week till I do a news video. So, And this is like kind of new information so of what's happening for the rest of the summer, basically. So, Or at least in the next month or so. Uh, maybe a little longer than that. I think it's the whole summer. Anyway, uh, going over this, we have a seasonal summer shop, meme anime fusion gear. So there's a, still more of that coming out. I don't know why I didn't release this week. It's a pretty dry week. Could have used it, but hey, uh, Wheel of Doom merge and treasure chest updates are going to be happening soon. Uh, so that's interesting. We haven't seen a Wheel of Doom merge update in quite some time. They, I said this on stream, but uh, they used to use them for commissions. So like when you commissioned an AQ Worlds artist to make like your own thing, uh, kind of like how I did with... Um, that character I'll use in my thumbnail sometimes, like Kotaro made. Uh, they used to put those items in the Wheel of Doom merge if they accepted them to put them in the game. If they're like, oh yeah, that looks good enough, we'll put that in the game. They put in the Wheel of Doom merge, they used to do that. Uh, they stopped when some drama happened with the, I think one person ruined it for everyone. Uh, feels bad, man, uh, whatever. Uh, but, treasure chest updates and the Doom merge. Not sure what's going to be in the Doom merge, but very interested to see what's going to happen. I don't think the commissions, things are returning. Uh, would be cool if they still let them in because there were some cool things made for those uh that never got in a lot of kotaro art that got commissioned not excluding my own i'm not i'm not being biased here but there's a lot of other stuff that i was looking forward to that never actually made it into the game very sad a lot of art that's made and ready to be put into the game that never got put into the game anyway anyway um just because it was commissioned uh 2024 summer collection chest of course new main story updates father's day of doom the next chapter of the Holoborn Saga. That sounds very interesting. Maybe farming heavy on that. Uh, Star Festival. Permanent versions of staff wedding events return. Wedding themed upgrade bonus pack featuring a house, quest, and items to help you spread the love. That actually sounds pretty interesting. Uh, a house and an upgrade bonus with a quest and items. So, pretty interesting. I'll make a video on that when that actually comes out. That does seem up my alley for things I would be interested in. So, yeah. Um, Bunch of cool stuff to look forward to from the design notes, but actually in game this week, not so much in my opinion. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Leave your opinions down below. Love to read them. Are you looking forward to any of this new stuff coming? I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they're doing with the Hollowborn saga, of course. Uh, main story, eh, could be good. <laughs> uh, Wheel of Doomers has got my interest in what they're going to be adding for that because I haven't really been doing anything with that recently. And yeah, anyway, leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of your day, rest of your weekend, and uh, have a good summer. Peace.